Hey y'all, so I got this video for you to see and it's educational and it's important for everyone to see but I really want to point out the white people. Yes, I said that. Why? Because um, it's the truth. It's stop living the lie and let's start living the truth. So in the meantime, sit right there. I'll be right back. 97, the rains fell heavily in Ethiopia's northern Rift Valley. Layers of sediment dislodged, revealing an extraordinary find, a human skull. It's one of the oldest Homo sapien remains to be found anywhere in the world. Scientists named the skull Idaltu, meaning firstborn. And Idaltu walked these valleys 160,000 years ago. Dr. Burhani Asfal was one of the scientists who made the discovery. This is one of the few specimens that we found almost complete, called the face and the brain teeth. And the most impressive thing about this is even at this early age, the face is modern Homo sapien, the brain teeth is modern Homo sapien, the shape from the back is a modern Homo sapien. It's exactly us. The anatomy and age of Adultu skull provided the strongest evidence yet that anatomically modern humans emerged in Africa. In each stage of the evolution toward modern humans, it takes place in Africa. When we found Homo sapien in Adultu, it was very important because it pushes time far back. That means anatomically modern Homo sapiens started walking on this planet much earlier than we thought. And the interesting thing is, at the same time, Europe was packed with Neanderthals, which are completely different from Homo sapiens. How do we know that the first human beings evolved on the African continent? The fossil evidence and the archaeological evidence that's come to light in the last 20 years 30 years is very, very substantial, testable, and real. Why do you think this idea was so disturbing in some quarters? Historically, the science of paleoanthropology or anthropology came, came into existence at a time when we really knew very little. Um, Africans were considered primitive, heathen, who knows? In the origins of the um, subhuman status of Africans, begins really in the 18th century, in the Enlightenment, ironically enough. Yeah, they weren't really considered to be um, one of our species. Continuing archaeological finds and now major scientific breakthroughs have confirmed that Africa absolutely was the cradle of humanity. It's like if we we're exploring our past and looking at where our roots are sunk down, we'll find that they're the deepest in Africa, and that's where we get most of our genetics. Geneticists have identified an astonishing link to our earliest human relations through our DNA. Every living person shares a common direct maternal ancestor. She's known as mitochondrial Eve. We believe that she was part of a small group of humans who lived in this region of Africa around the time of the Adultu skull. Our common ancestry through the mitochondrial Eve means that our genetic differences are literally skin deep. What it means is that this was a woman, hypothetically, who lived 200,000 years ago, who had enough daughters in a continuous chain, straight back so that her mitochondrial DNA survived. Absolutely right. And all of us today, no matter what we look like, are descended from black ancestors? Yeah, that is exactly. That's what happened. All the humans, all the homo sapiens all over the world, be it yellow, white, black, we are descended from a common ancestor in Africa. We told you so. Black people have been saying this for generations. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. I'm interested to know. <laughs> I know I'm going to piss off a lot of people, but hey, 
Facts are facts. Remember, diversity equal power. We could change the world when we work together and protect black women. We're kind of your moms. <laughs> protect black women. Well, what do you know? Hmm. Okay. So the Constitution is not the Bible. Mm-mm. It lied on us. It's a lie. We're not three-fifths of a person. What kind of mess is that? I'm not. Ain't nothing cut off of me. <laughs> oh, by the way, you better respect us. We're your fathers. <laughs> No, but honestly, honestly, yeah, you're black too. Oh, well, I guess black lives do matter.